Hi, today I will start a new project that is building a paraboloid disc microphone. It has been a long time dream of mine. I have always thought it would be cool to have one, but then I had kind of forgotten about it until yesterday when I was thinking I should pick up a new project of some kind that I could do in my spare time. And then I remembered these. And if you don't know what a paraboloid disc microphone is, it's essentially just a paraboloid shape like this uh, that reflects sound and it reflects it all into a single focal point and there's a microphone in that focal point. The microphone is just a regular microphone that tricks in this paraboloid shape and I have a little demonstration here so you can better understand. So here I have a disc that emits sound, in this case it's these particles and the sound comes towards the paraboloid and when it hits the paraboloid you can see that it reflects off of it and it all gathers into this one single focal point which is where the microphone is. So it's really simple, it's just this paraboloid shape that gathers all the sound in this point. Now I have no experience at all in making anything like this so I have no idea what will come out of it, but it's really interesting to try and I also don't know how I will build it. I've been thinking about different ways to do it, but I will talk about them later when I actually get my hands on it. And I think I will also break this into multiple videos because I think this will take a fair amount of time to do. And that's it. Let's start this thing and see how it goes. Okay, so today I finally got to a hardware store, but unfortunately they didn't have thin enough plywood for me. Uh, I had thought of doing the disc shape from plywood, but it would have to be really thin plywood, like 2 mm thick, because I don't want the disc to be really heavy. And they didn't have that, and there wasn't any other good materials, so I couldn't get anything from there, but my mom had these uh, thick cardboard type of sheets and she gave them to me and these are uh, really quite solid material and quite thick also they don't bend very well but they also don't crack when bending these are by the way used in the frames of paintings uh, like watercolor paintings and this is I think uh, quite a good material I hope it will reflect sound quite well, at least when I coat this with varnish or paint or something. I will do the disc shape by cutting these into these kind of shapes. I will bend these like this and then glue them in a circular shape like this. And that will form the disc shape. And then in the center of it I will put a circular uh, plate made from this same material. So I need nine of these. I have already done this one, so I need eight more. And I will start cutting those out and then I will try to bend them and start gluing them together. Okay, I have now done a few of these, and before I cut the rest of them, I will try to check if I can get the curvature right, and also I'll try to check how these fit together, because if I cut them all now and they are all wrong, I have to do everything again, and I also have a limited number of these sheets, so I have to be quite careful not to do any mistakes here. So, I have measured from my 3D model the distance from here to here when this is curved like this. So I figured if I take a string and I measure it to be exactly the same length here, I should get a fairly accurate curve to these sheets. And if I then tape these strings on these sheets, they also stay in this position. So I can glue them together. And when they are glued, 
I can take off the strings because they will of course stay in this shape when they are glued here. So that didn't work out at all because first of all this string is a bit stretchy. So it doesn't matter if I measure the distance exactly right because it will stretch a bit and I couldn't get it exactly right. And secondly this taping thing didn't work either. Even if I did these uh, loops here at the ends of these strings and taped them through these loops, like in here, it still won't stay exactly in right position. So I think I need to place some sticks here, like this, and then tape these sticks here. And I hope that will uh, keep the string exactly in the right position. And also I noticed that it isn't the best possible uh, way to measure this distance here because even the slightest errors in the distance move this curvature really much so the best distance to measure is I think this distance from here to here so if I can get this one right it doesn't matter how much this is because my curvature is right when this is right so yeah, but it got a bit late already and I have to stop now for this day and continue some other day. And I think I will continue this in the next video so that this video doesn't become too long. So thanks for watching and see you next time.